Hey guys! For today's video, I want to talk about my outlining process. Um, as you know, outlining is a really, really big part of writing in general. If you don't outline, you might struggle in the future when you come to the editing stage. If you do outline, you're going to struggle a little bit less, but Eh, it all depends on your outlining process, so I thought that I would share my process for you guys today. A little disclaimer, my outlining process is a little bit lengthy and I want to go in depth with it, so this video is actually going to be in two parts. So part one today and part two is going to be my next uploading day, but it, that also might be a wrap up. So whenever is not a wrap up will be part two. My outlining process has developed a lot over the years. Um, it started off as no process at all and now it is a very very organized journey. Let's call it. Uh, I want to say right now that I have gotten many tips from other writers uh, on how to outline most notably would have to be Jenna Moresi. You can go check out her outlining videos. She goes really in depth and I've definitely drawn from her process and incorporating it into my own. So first, before you even start outlining, you, you need an idea. I mean, you do have an idea, right? You should, okay? <laughs> You have an idea and with it, that idea comes more ideas and you get characters and you get plot points and you think of different witty things that your characters can say or different parts of their backstory. You should be writing all of this down. Um, what I do is I write all of my ideas. I call it a thought dump. Other people call it brainstorming, whatever you call it. You should be writing down all of your ideas that relate to your main topic. I write them in these little cute notepads. So I write all of my ideas in there and you should have a lot and the more ideas that you have, the better. Because that will really, really help you when you actually get to the outlining process. So I use sticky notes, I color code them, and each color coincides with a different part of the story. For example, the plot points are the palest blue, settings are the lime green, character introductions are peach, violence is red, love is pink, friendship is pale blue, uh, different scenes are the darkest green, Foreshadowing is this weird blue-purple color. A character arc is the darkest blue. Flashbacks are orange. Dreams are that nasty green you see up there. And different quotes or dialogue, like dialogue that I have planned out, are is the darkest pink slash purple color there. On these wonderful color-coded sticky notes, I write all the facts from my thought dump on the corresponding color. Anything that has to do with love goes on the pink ones, so on and so forth. And then I place, I cut them because, you know, you don't want to waste an entire sticky note on one sentence of an idea. So you cut them, you can reuse them, put sticky tack on the back, and I put them on my wall. You can put them on a wall, on a whiteboard, any flat vertical surface as long as it sticks. Don't use glue. Don't do that. That is the opposite of what we're trying to do here. Uh, so then what we, what I do is I place them on my wall in the chronological order that I have decided wherever they work and what you should be noticing once you have all your facts out is plot holes. There should be a lot of space in between different things. You leave spaces between points that don't come necessarily one after the other. So now it is up to you to fill in these plot holes. And this is what I think is the most fun because then this is you really building your story based on 
the simple ideas that you've already started with. So you get to expand on them, you get to create your character arcs, you get to really learn where your story's going. And the great thing about putting it all on a wall is nothing's written in stone, okay? If something doesn't work the way you have it, you just pluck your sticky note off the wall and move it where it does work. You don't have to use every sticky note you have. You can take away some, you can put other ones on, you can make it however long or short you want. So that is the end of part one of my outlining process. I hope you guys liked it. Tune in either next week or the week after and I will have part two up for you. And that's it. That's it. So uh, please comment what you thought on this video and if you want current updates of my writing process, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links will be in the description below. Also check out my website where you can read the first chapter of my manuscript, Roses. Link is also in the description below. And as always, please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!